Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Now, let's take a look at what we have on the front page of our local dailies here. Uh, on the front page of the standard, it's back to the streets. It's back to the streets. As the mayor leaders say that they will not resume bipartisan talks because government is pushing the finance bill that will worsen cost of living, meaning demonstrations are likely next week. That is what's on the front page of the, uh, the standard newspaper. According to Azimio resolutions, one, they have rejected the finance bill in total. Number two, Mark Mwenje picked as a deputy minority whip of the National Assembly, replacing Sabina Shege. And finance bill as presently crafted must be withdrawn and replaced by a bill that appreciates Kenyans' suffering. Again, According to the resolution, Kenya Kwanzaa must agree that all Jubilee MPs who have quote-unquote defected have to resign and face by election and lastly, suspend by person talks until the conditions are met. They met yesterday for the parliamentary group meeting and they say now they are going to suspend that. Still on the front page, there are some 10 reasons why housing fund is unconstitutional. You can take that story, uh, page 14 and 15, and, you know, it's been a thorny issue for the couple of weeks, and uh, we are still waiting to see how it goes. KPLC blow as court holds 21 billion shillings tender. That's a story also fleshed out there for you on page 10. Continuing thereabout, John the Baptist, quote-unquote, from Bungoma to meet DCI. Remember, Jesus of Tongaren? I remember doing that story five, six years ago, Jesus of Tongaren. And um, he's been there. Uh, two weeks ago, he presented himself before the authorities and he was acquitted because they did not get any wrongdoing. As a mere reject new taxes, seeks by election, part of the demand they met yesterday at, um, uh, you know, for their parliamentary group meeting and made several remarks. Of course, the deadline they gave the president and Kenya Kwanzaa lapsed midnight yesterday night, and so we are waiting to see the next course of action. And finally, Haji grilled over decision to pull high-profile graft cases. He faced the Senate and the MPs yesterday for his, for his uh, um, vetting. MPs grill NIS Director General nominee on suitability to head country's intelligence unit. Former DPP, that is Nordin Haji, says that he's cut for the job and defend his decisions on high-profile graft cases. We are waiting to see the report on how that will go. Let me just bring in my guest and um, get his voice on this one. It's back to the streets. Francis, good morning. Good morning. As usual, we usually get to do this preview, and now I throw it back to you. It's back to the streets. What do you make of this? I don't think uh, the streets are the solutions to the challenges facing Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So both teams need to sit down and agree, both Azimio mm -hmm. and Kenya Kwanzaa, mm -hmm. rather than going back to the streets. Yes. Because the streets are not the solution mm -hmm. to the cost of living. Azimio today. says that Kenya Kwanzaa is not honest in the talks. Okay, I'm sure they have rushed to conclude that mm -hmm. Kenya Kwanzaa is not honest. Mm -hmm. Because if they were not honest, they could not have uh, extended uh, their hands mm. to the negotiations. Mm. So I believe uh, Kenya Kwanzaa has uh, the best interest for the country and the talks that are ongoing. So Azimio should not harden. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's on the front page of the Standard. What's on the front page of the People Daily here? The People Daily says that how Matatu tax will hurt Kenyans. How Matatu tax will hurt Kenyans. Now, it says that Advanced tax on passenger vehicles will raise cost of doing business for PSVs, taxis, and trucks. This will hurt workers too, as they will pay more if finance bill is passed. As the mayor pledges to fight against the proposals. This is a story on the front page of the People Daily. Again, Haji Thuge vetted for NIS and Central Bank jobs. Kamau Thuge was uh, facing the finance committee of the national assembly while haji was at the county hall where he also faced uh, the parliamentary vetting committee and now they are waiting their report there is a question here that has been making headlines for the couple of for a couple of days now u.s kicks up storm after museveni signs law banning lgbt ties it's now a law and against 
um, Ugandan constitution to, select, to actually get engaged in anything. And we know <laughs> once a law is passed, it's passed. And now U.S. says that uh, they are going to revisit. Your take on that? Uh, my take is uh, Uganda is a, is a, is a country mm -hmm. that is, has its own laws. And I'm sure if they have passed the bill, mm. uh, anti-LGBT anti uh, bill, yes. it should be implemented. I don't see any reason why Western forces should force uh, they, are, they, they are big brothers. They can give us sanctions, arms embargo, all manner of things, and you know, restrict even travel from different countries. For example, Uganda is going to the U.S. Donors and donations and what have you. Don't you think Uganda is going to suffer if the big brother says we are going to revisit? Uganda will suffer, but I don't think that is the best is the best approach. Mm that uh, our big brother should take mm -hmm. because as an independent country that is uh, that has uh, self-governance I, I believe they should be allowed to do their stuff yeah. without interference mm -hmm. yeah okay so uh we've been talking about that issue of um madaraka day and uh, all set for first madaraka day fit under president william ruto that will be taking place tomorrow in embu and that is what's there on the front page okay on the front page of the star newspaper Raila wants tax bill out makes fresh demands Raila wants tax bill um, makes fresh demands Sabina Chega kicked out Mark Mwenje named deputy minority whip for Azimio that happened yesterday during the parliamentary group meeting yesterday with Azimio leaders um, that is also fleshed out there for you on the front page of the standard newspaper Haji refuses to reveal net worth Thuge worth 450 million shillings. That is engineer Kamau Thuge. 11, over 111,000 teachers required to address shortage. That's according to TSC. The government needs to recruit more than 111,000 teachers to bridge the current tutors shortage that has compromised the quality of education in public schools it has been an issue and of course if you remember the rollout of jss and not and even some uh body said that the only and the biggest problem they have is lack of teachers and even classrooms what do you make of this 111,000 teachers 11 um, 11 1100 thousand teachers required. 11 thousand yes to bridge the deficit I believe the government, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has already shown that uh, they, are, they are willing to support. Mm. And uh, recently, if you may recall, 30, around 36,000 teachers were hired. Mm. I'm sure the continuous uh, uh, employment of these teachers will uh, bridge the gap mm. and will get there. Mm. Also, uh, there was a review in the manner in which uh, this the new curriculum is being uh, put in place. Yes. Uh, whereby the, the grade 6 and grade 7 mm. students are still allowed to That's be under in the primary school. That's presidential working task for education. Exactly. Yeah. So there's a lot that is taking place and I'm sure we'll get there. Mm. Even Rome was not built in a day. Exactly. Here we have it. Um, Raila wants tax bill out, makes fresh demands. What do you make of this? I mean, you are a taxpayer and at the end of the day the issue of raising the tax and the 3% debate here and there. I don't know what's, what's your take on this. Is it going to affect the, formal, the informal uh, sector, like the scrap metal uh, society and even the dealers there? Actually, it will affect, but in a positive way. How? Because the number of employment, this initiative, mm. the 3% uh, deduction, actually, which is a saving, it's not a task, tax. Mm -hmm. We, the impact that uh, will be in place, there will be so many employment. Mm -hmm. Let us look at it in a positivity way mm. rather than looking at it in a negativity way. Mm. The whole tax bill, okay, there are deliberations and everyone is allowed to bring his views mm -hmm. and the same will go to the public. And uh, I am sure uh, the, 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 the team that came up with, uh, with that uh, tax bill, uh, with the bill, mm. Had, uh, had consulted widely because each and every time you find yourself in a hole you don't deep, dig the hole deeper mm. you look for ways of getting out of the hole remember when the new regime came in place there were so many issues we have had uh, 
uh, challenges with our with our uh, huge uh, loan mm -hmm. that we have been taking as a country rather than continuing in that trajectory of borrowing why don't we look into how as a country we can be self uh, reliant and i'm sure there are good things into that bill yeah and a lot of sensitization is required mm. because many people think that uh, the three percent is a tax which is not actually it's a contribution mm. and that contribution is a saving because if you, you if you not get a house that money will will be there and you are entitled to it yeah. because it's your money absolutely yeah okay fair enough let me get into this um according to azimio uh, resolutions they had yesterday they resolved that one to remove sabina chege as deputy minority whip minority whip she would be replaced by Embakasi MP Mark Mwenje. They also said that they reject the Finance Bill 2023 in total. Once Finance Bill withdrawn from Parliament, they also want a new bill that appreciates the suffering of Kenyans to be tabled. They also want Azimio MPs to sign public pledge to oppose bill. Last but not least, Azimio will do everything possible to protect affiliate parties and finally Jubilee MPs who have defected should resign and face fresh uh, uh, mandate as voters and face the electorate. That is what's there on the front page of the Star newspaper. And finally, big standoff over tax law. Big standoff over tax law is mostly everything is about uh, tax, tax, tax here. Uh, big standoff over tax law. Members of public service sector unions participate in a processional. They had their, their day in, um, for the public uh, participation that will actually was extended until tomorrow. And a fresh standoff, standoff now looms today between Raila Odinga's Azimio Laumoja and President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza after a midnight ultimatum for the government to withdraw finance bill which they say is laden with punitive proposals lapsed last night. They did not give any course of action after the expiry of the ultimatum. So we are waiting to see what is the next course, course of action. Are they going to announce for other or another rounds of mandamano? Let me not preempt. Haji, I have no apologies. Haji takes, taken to task over withdrawal of court cases. I have no apologies. He said that is uh, when he was facing the vetting committee yesterday in Parliament. That is as far as um, the newspaper is concerned. And finally, showdown looms as Azimio takes uh, talk staff on finance bill, Jubilee crisis. We're waiting to get the next course of action, of course, and war council to fight for Jubilee's soul has now been formed. From, former President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta was made one of the party's bank signatories during the recent special national delegates conference. And now we have got um, a couple of people who've been formed. We, you, know, you can take a look at that, um, uh, the entire list. We have got that team led by President Uhuru Kenyatta, who remains to be the party leader, Jeremiah Kioni, Secretary General, David Murade, Vice Chairman, etc., etc., etc. So go ahead and grab your favorite copy for much and more and of course read for yourself i've just given you a snippet of what's there on the local dailies and on the gazette ujisome let's take a break when you come back we are getting into the real discussion here it's all about scrap metal in the country all right